What's going on guys? Welcome back to the farm vlog here at Hidden Heights Farm. If you're new, my name is Kevin. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And today is kind of a special day. It's something that I've kind of been looking forward to for a while. Uh, today we are going to butcher a turkey. Although I'm not going to show that process on video. It's just going to be uh, something I do. Uh, I'll show you guys getting some of the stuff prepared. I'm going to I'm going to dispatch one of our bigger toms and then I'm going to uh, dunk it in some hot water, kind of scald it a little bit, and then I'm going to pluck some feathers. But I'm not going to show any of that, but I'll show some of the process of it. Um, back here behind me, we got the sawmill covered up. Um, it's a busy week. Dutch and I, uh, we got a lot of stuff come, going on. It is Thanksgiving. We got family coming over and stuff like that, and it was going to rain the other night, so we went ahead and covered up the sawmill. So I think he might come over one day this week and... Uh, do some work on it I don't know yet but uh anyways here in a little bit I got to uh find a turkey and pick the one I want and uh get that done because in a couple days it is Thanksgiving and I hope all you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving this video will probably come out after Thanksgiving but if it is on Thanksgiving today happy Thanksgiving if not I hope you guys had a wonderful blessed thanksgiving and enjoyed whatever you chose to do whether you gathered around family or just stayed uh to yourselves or whatever you did that's your choice and uh we respect that just like you know most people want to be able to make their own decisions if they want to be around family or they don't want to be around family they shouldn't be judged for it but anyways let's grab the camera i got something in the shop i want to show you like i said it is a busy week right now and it is actually rifle season here in Oklahoma for deer. So last night uh, was the first night I took the kids. And uh, I was uh, going to let Caleb and Kaya shoot one. But uh, we had a buck come out in front of us. Kaya sat with me. And uh, the, the buck came out and it just was at a weird angle where she couldn't quite get a shot at it. So she said, Dad, I just want you to shoot it. It was a nice size buck. So I went ahead and took it. I got it hanging up in the um, shop. And uh, I'll, sh I'll take you guys over and look at it real quick. I know some of you don't like seeing all the gory stuff. So I'm not going to show any of that. It's just the carcass hanging up. Get the light turned on here. So there it is. I'm not going to show too much of that. But here is the head. I'll show you guys the antlers. Not, not a giant buck, but he's uh, pretty decent looking. So I know a lot of you don't like seeing all that stuff, so I'm not going to show all of it. But let's go see which turkey we want to make for our Thanksgiving dinner. It is, uh, let's see, today is Monday evening and Thanksgiving's Thursday. So that'll give us three days to uh, rest this turkey. What we'll do after I get it all plucked. We'll uh, put it in an ice chest with some water and we'll soak it with some, uh, let me, let me, ref I'm trying to figure out which turkey I want. I'm getting ahead of myself. After we pluck this thing, I'm going to put it in an ice chest with some ice and some water, let it cool down, let it soak for 48 hours. And then the next day I might make a, uh, like a brine to kind of soak it in. And I'm also going to inject it. And I think we're just going to cook it in the oven. I don't know if we're going to put it on the pellet grill or not and smoke it, but we'll just have to wait and see. I've never actually cooked a turkey on a pellet smoker. Um, we've done several chickens, and they've always turned out wonderful. But these guys are over here in the big field. I don't know if they're over here eating my, my new turnip seeds I planted. They're picking all those little turnips up or what they're doing. But we are going to figure out which one. Which one of you guys uh, are the mean one? You can see these two here are two of the bigger toms. And there's one more, I'm not sure. I think it's that one right there in the front. That's a tom. He's a younger one. But those two right there are the oldest. I'm thinking about taking the biggest one. The one that's all fluffed out there. So yeah, I got a couple hours. Like I said, it's evening time and uh, pretty soon it's going to be dark. So uh, I want to try to get that done. I got my burner and I got a uh, pot that I think is big enough to fit this turkey in. I think, I hope it's big enough because I got to kind of dip it in that hot water to scald it. I'm not going to show any of that stuff, guys. I know you guys all know how 
people pluck chickens because here just a few months back there was a bunch including ourselves of homesteading channels and farming channels that did a whole series of videos on the chickens and then like there for a couple weeks every week it was like another channel was doing videos that's just part of it just like the hogs uh just a, you know a couple weeks ago you guys seen a bunch of us oklahoma channels hauling hogs off to the butcher all around the same time that's just part of it we all pretty much live the same lifestyle do the same stuff and it's not that we're copying off of each other or anything like that it's just you know growing up doing this stuff and you know living in families that do, does it and stuff there's reasons that people do stuff on the time the seasons that they do it just like butchering a turkey uh i know people butcher turkey all the time but i'm doing it a couple days before thanksgiving because that is a traditional uh meal is cooking turkey for thanksgiving i also got a ham for backup what do you know days huh what are you doing you loving on your goats all right, let's go see Miss Daisy for a second. What are you doing, girl? Huh? She's a sweetie. You guys got fresh water. All right. Look at here. Well, guess what, Butterscotch? You got a new name. <laughs> Everybody voted and the majority voted butterscotch. I need to look again. There's still a couple days left But it was like 75% to 25% the last I looked so it's not actually official that her name is butterscotch But that's the way it looks like it's gonna go So anyways Thank you guys so much for helping us pick a name and I better quit talking about it too much because like I said It's not official yet uh, a bunch of people might jump on there real quick and uh, say hey we didn't vote yet we're gonna vote and i want to call her blondie instead uh i know over like a thousand people voted so that was awesome thank you guys so much i haven't even looked at it in a couple days and when i made the video i said i was gonna leave it up for seven days it actually got a couple more days to go i need to look at the date and uh to verify what day for sure but uh yeah everything's going good all the goats are doing good the chickens are doing good the turkeys are doing good all but one the goats are just kind of standing out here in the sunshine they're kind of waiting for me to feed them i'll feed them here in just a little bit no blondies out here getting some grass and bugs butterscotch i'm just kidding <laughs> oh man i know some of you all uh got mad at me and said I, w I thought you were gonna call it blondie i thought you were gonna call it butterscotch i thought you were gonna call it butter i thought you were gonna call it popcorn all kinds of stuff it's crazy it's so crazy how people can uh just get wound up in naming animals and stuff but it's awesome i love the feedback from all you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and uh do the deed on this turkey real quick i'll take a little break from this video and when i'm done i'll show you guys the finished product and see how well it comes out i'm not using a chicken plucker or anything else i'm gonna be doing it by hand and like i said i'm not gonna film any of that stuff um, i might put some pictures on facebook or instagram or something but i'm not gonna put it on here because i know a lot of you don't like to see it so wish me luck and I will be back. Right, guys so i've got my water just about where i want it 145 to 155 degrees i'll dump, dip it in there for about three or four minutes kind of swirling around a little bit and then the feather should come right out so while this is coming up the temperature uh the turkeys we've been raising the turkeys for like two years just a little uh back information on that we've always dreamed of harvesting our own turkey and cooking it for thanksgiving and with everything going on this year we're having our own thanksgiving dinner at our house we're not having our normal big group family thanksgiving dinners like we do every year with each side of my family and rachel's family so we thought what better time than this year to practice doing it on our own you know in our own house before we do it in front of a lot of different people uh, the only way to learn something is just to get in there and try it and uh, do it and if you don't do well then just 
jot down what you didn't do right and do better next time and learn from your mistakes. So uh, this water's just about right. I got a candy thermometer on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this turkey done and uh, see if they can't get these feathers out. And we do still have a couple toms. We have two toms and then I think we still have seven hens. So if we choose to keep these turkeys, we will be able to uh, incubate the eggs next spring and uh, we can even butcher more throughout the year, stuff like that if we want to. But uh, as of now, we're gonna get this one done. All right guys, I got the uh, turkey plucked. Still left his feet on. I still got to gut him and all that good stuff, but I told y'all I wasn't gonna show that. So I'm just gonna rinse him off real quick. I still got a few pin feathers and stuff like that. I need to take a little more time and get off. But right now, it's looking pretty good. It took about 15 minutes or so to uh, pluck these feathers out. And I'm guessing he weighs probably close to, close to 18 to 20 pounds. I left my scales over at Dutch's house whenever we were weighing that pig that we roasted. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get busy and get this thing finished. Okay, the turkey is done and in the cooler. I got it in there with the bag of ice. I'm gonna leave it outside because it's been getting down into the 30s every night. That'll help me uh, keep the ice longer. I probably just have to use one bag and I won't have to get anything out of the freezer and put anything else in there. Normally, uh, when we did the chickens before, I would take some old uh, gallon ice cream buckets or pails and I'd fill them up with water and keep them in the freezer. And that way you ain't gotta run a town and buy ice or anything. You can pretty much have your own ice and stow it in there and it's ready to go save you some money doing it like that um i'm gonna leave this cook pot out here and stuff because i got that deer head i'm gonna do just like a skull mount uh, what i do is i usually i'll skin the head and i'll take the hide off the head and then i'll boil it a little bit to get all that meat and stuff off and i'll power wash it and then i'll kind of uh bleach the skull i use that uh i use hair products that women bleached her hair blonde with I use that on the skull and it makes it real nice and white and I've, I've done one a couple years ago and I really like how it turned out and since Kaya was with me on this little hunting trip she asked me if she could keep the horns and all that and I told her of course so I'll try to do that in the next couple days so I'll leave this set up for now but uh, all the animals are yelling at me to come feed them so I'm gonna take you guys with me and uh, go feed everybody I am uh, anxious to try this turkey guys you guys know if you've been following us for a while that we always talk about raising our own animals and getting to enjoy um, eating them I guess you might say not a very nice way to put it but that's just part of part of farm life whether you uh, raise them for yourself or you raise them for someone else's consumption that's part of it let me get some goat food and then we'll go over here and feed the goats and Daisy I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys why I need feed bunk look at this they're already attacking me See how much of a pain it is to try to come in here with a bucket of feed? Pretty much knocked you over. Golly. 
Daisy, you need to get your guts in there. Control that. No manner. I've been feeding Daisy over there in the corner for now. And guys, it will not be long. Oh, maybe about five or six weeks. We should start getting some baby goats on the ground, so uh, it won't be long. And I know a lot of people have been noticing I've been wearing this Tartar brand uh, hat. They actually, they actually sent me a shirt and a hat and a trailer load of other stuff I have not talked about that will be coming up in a uh, future video. They sent me some of their equipment to try out. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Can't wait for that. I just got so much going on right now. I haven't had time to get it all set up and, and this and that. But anyways, once I get this feed bunk set up, it is going to be a game changer. You guys just seen the struggle it is trying to feed these goats. Some of these bigger goats will actually knock you down. They, uh, they act like they're starving 24-7, no matter if you walk out here with an empty bucket or not. Even if you just feed them and you come back out here with a bucket, they will still try to knock you down to get to it. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go feed the other uh, goats and mojo. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am super excited to butcher my first turkey and try to cook it ourselves for our first family Thanksgiving dinner here at our own house. Like I said earlier, normally we go to uh, our big family, you know, like my parents' families and Rachel's parents' families. We got both have big families and this year it's going to be a little different. But uh, let Thanksgiving be a reminder to us to be thankful for what we do have. Um, there are so many people out there that is less fortunate than so many others. There's people in other countries that don't have the rights we do and I'm super thankful to be able to live here on the farm and if I want to butcher a turkey, butcher a turkey, a pig, chicken, whatever, without anybody telling me I can't do it. And uh, although this turkey might not look quite as pretty as the turkeys that you might pick up from uh, the store, like Butterball and all that, it's just part of it. I don't know. They, you know, they pump their turkeys full of that water solution and all kinds of chemicals and steroids and all that when they're alive and at least I know what this one, where this is, this, pfft, let me spit it out. At least I know where this turkey has been, what it's eaten, and I know it's had a good life. So uh, that's just a little better feeling to be able to raise your own food. So that's enough for today, guys. I'm going to go feed the other goats and uh, Mojo. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.